Hi, I'm Grace Gregory and I'm here to talk to you today about abortion and how it's not okay. Abortion has been one of the biggest controversies of all time. Many people believe it is 100% wrong and even considered to be murder. I am one of those people. Think of yourself, the growing baby in a womb, expected to live a long life outside, but then you are deprived of that life. You don't get to celebrate any birthdays, holidays, or even the little things like going to the park. A baby's heartbeat starts at around 12 to 18 days. That being said, it is considered murder to kill someone with a heartbeat. Why would anyone think taking someone's life is okay? I want to persuade you today that this is not okay and it should be illegal. In today's life, Abortion can later tear down women and can sometimes result in family conflict. When one spouse does not want an abortion, but the other one does, it can be a cycle that never ends. Whether they are married, boyfriend and girlfriend, or don't know each other at all, this can be a humongous problem. That being said, responsible people have to make hard decisions sometimes. Timing may seem bad, and circumstances might be difficult, but this does not justify in killing an innocent person. Choosing to raise a child is responsibility. Choosing adoption for a child is responsibility. But choosing abortion and denying life to a child who already exists is irresponsibility. There are many other options besides abortion. Why wouldn't you just give it up for adoption and give it to someone who can't have a baby, someone who has tried for a baby and it's not possible for them. Why wouldn't you give this to a family who wants this baby in their life and needs someone in their life? Abortions avoid the responsibility. Abortion is sometimes used as an easy cover-up for a one-night stand or a solution to a relationship gone bad. However, when two adults or even teens make the choice to participate in an activity known to create babies, these adults must accept the responsibility, no matter the age. Women who have had abortions are significantly more prone to mental illness and self-harm. That being said, according to the health research funding, women who have had abortions are three times more likely to commit suicide than women of childbearing age who have not had abortions. They are 81% more likely to have mental health issues than other women. In their life, they may seem that, that choosing the abortion route was not good and they shouldn't have done it. They may carry this on the weight of their shoulders and see that they took a life from someone and that this could have been avoided with many other options. Teens who have had abortions are 10 times more likely to commit suicide than teens who have not had an abortion. To put that into perspective, 18% of abortions in the U.S. are teens. That's almost one-fifth of all the abortions in the country. An easy way to make an impact on stopping these abortions is if we all helped the single mothers out. This should show other mothers that are carrying a baby and thinking about having an abortion that there is people out there who care about them and are willing to help. We could try to put ourselves in their shoes and try to come up with ideas to help the mothers better their lives and the choices they make. Start helping them with, out with things or anything that you can come up with. Offer to babysit, bring groceries, rent out your pool, help with gas or car repairs, help take the children to school, or anything that you can think of. <clears throat> Also, not only helping the children, but helping the mom. Coach her on job searching, interviewing well, and getting promoted on where she works. Help her apply for any public aid she legitimately needs. Anything to show her <clears throat> that she's not a choice between her, her present children or her future children. Use your voice as a mother. Speak out in the era. If you were thinking about adoption, but didn't take that route and decided to keep your baby or give it up for adoption, use your voice and tell everyone else why. Use it to spread and share to people who are thinking about doing this why it's so important not to. The pro-abortion lives are loud and proud. Use your voice to be as loud and proud about saving lives as you can. 
It's one life at a time. Why would anybody think that this is okay? It's truly not. You think that this is just a little thing inside of you. This little thing has a heartbeat and you were once that little thing. I urge you, the person listening to this, to take on more challenges each day so we can all make this world a better place. Abortion is a very important topic and it can save a lot of lives. Not very many people agree on it whether it's good, it's a good thing or not. If you're one of the person who believes it's a horrible thing, like me, I hope you're willing to take some of this knowledge and the power of your voice and spread it. Not everyone has the ability to change the rules, but everyone has the ability to make an effort. You be the one that makes an effort and save these little lives.